Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing and today we're going to talk about five tips for a stress-free holiday season. So whether you celebrate Yule, the winter solstice, Christmas, Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, or if you're just celebrating New Year's, all of these tips will help you to have a stress-free holiday season. Number one is breathe. Remember to just be mindful about your feelings, to acknowledge where your feelings are, and to stop and breathe. And that will help you to refocus, recenter, and to get back to a place of balance in the moment. And that is really vital and important, especially during the stress of the holiday season. Number two, let go of perfect. Really, it doesn't have to be perfect for you to have a wonderful holiday season with your family. Embrace all of those favorite things that you really enjoy about the holidays and let go of the other stuff. There are traditions that we bring in to our families and some of them are wonderful to have year after year, but they evolve over time and don't try to force that perfection onto things. Make sure that you're going with the flow and going with the changes of what needs to happen. Number three, create a relaxing surroundings around you. Have aromatherapy going. Um, make it feel warm and cozy. And I have a video all about how to make it a warm and cozy Yule. So I will post that at the end. Um, and that will apply to any holiday that you may be celebrating at this time of year. Those aromatherapy and those senses and those smells, they really do bring in that warmth and that homey feeling and surround yourself with that, whether that's cloves and cinnamon and apples and oranges or pines, whatever different scents that you like to have, those baked goods, those cookies, definitely check out that video and it will really help to make your house filled with everything that you need right now. Number four, plan ahead. Plan out what meals you wanna have. Plan out your grocery shopping, plan out your budget, make your lists, but don't let that be stressful for you to have those lists. Do it so that you can feel good about crossing things off those lists as you've gotten everything prepared. And with your plans, be flexible. Go with the flow, go with the changes. If something isn't available at the grocery store, then get something else to substitute for it. Or find a different way to create that favorite dish that you want to have for the holidays. Gifts don't arrive on time no sweat. Just focus on creating something for them that you can give them, like a card or um, a printout of what the gift was, or make it something fun. You could even do one of the layering gifts where you have a gift and a gift and a gift and a gift, and inside is a gift card, or inside is a picture of the thing that didn't arrive on time. Everyone understands that there are shipping delays and things like that during the holiday season. So don't worry when your plans don't work out exactly the way that you thought them, exactly the way that you envisioned them. Remember to stop and breathe and come up with a creative and fun solution to your problem. Remember to be flexible. Number five, it is vital to keep up and maintain all of your routines all of your mindfulness stuff, your morning routines, your nighttime routines, everything that we talk about here in Transformational Healing to help you stay in balance. It is vital to keep those routines going through the holidays. I mean, we might be out late at night because we have to go to an office party or something like that, and that gets you a little bit off of your routine, but still do the bedtime routine before you go to bed. Maybe you sleep in a little bit later the next morning, and that's okay. But when you're not getting enough sleep, 
Make sure you take care of yourself. Be mindful of your body. Be mindful of your stress levels. And do all the other tips that are above to help the house feel good, to help yourself feel good. And don't stop doing whatever spiritual things you do. Your spiritual cleansings, your mental emotional health, it's all very important. So do and continue to do all of those things that you do to take care of you. Even squeezing in that cleansing shower and that special me time. Make sure you do that for you. It is very important and vital. And to toss in an extra, it's okay to say no. It's okay to tell people that it's not going to fit into your schedule, that you can't do something very specific right now. And I know that's hard for a lot of us that are helpers. And a lot of us in the tribe are helpers and we wanna help with everything. And we have to make sure that we are saying no when we need to say no, because that's important for your own mental health. So I hope that these tips have helped you. There are tons of other videos about Yule and the holidays, like I said, and I will post those videos right over here and a whole entire Yule playlist for you too. So let's get into the holiday spirit and enjoy this wonderful festival of lights and holiday season. Many blessings and we'll see you real soon.